Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome back to another episode of Summertime Saga. That's right, we're playing more. The prologue's over. We're into the main story, and so we're going to go ahead and continue on. If you didn't see the prologue, maybe you should watch it uh, if you're on patreon there was two videos containing the prologue however if you're watching on youtube i got one video it's uh probably you know there's a playlist popping up so check out the playlist click it it's popping up somewhere on the screen right now if you haven't watched if you have well welcome let's continue i actually since i just uh finished up what i was doing um in the last episode really we just gotta wait two days so, missing school for a couple days or anything like that is not going to affect your game negatively at all so let's miss some school and we'll just um go back to sleep I wonder who's at the doorbell huh who could be here this early in the morning I'm the man of the house now. I should probably check it out. Let's go. I'm gonna go straight downstairs. Can I get you a cup of coffee, officer? No, oh, <laughs> you can call me Harold, ma'am. Coffee would be lovely. Sure. It's a police officer. I thought you might like an update on your friend's case. Oh, okay, uh... Oh, you have news? He's here about Dad. Uh, not as much as I'd hoped. Thank you for this. Mm, I love me some coffee. That's nice. Well, what have you found out? Right. Well, the autopsy report confirms that he died from asphyxiation. And that, coupled with the excessive bruising around his throat, means suicide is the most likely scenario <laughs> really really harold okay so asphyxiation bruising from around the neck that's your get out of here you're fired it just doesn't make any sense frank would never have killed himself mm, i can't really speak to that ma'am but it seems like your friend was keeping quite a lot from you what do you mean you said he was working as an accountant, correct? Yes. And he was employed at Saga Financial Bank? That's right, for 15 years. Well, I spoke to the bank manager there, and she told me that your friend was fired 18 months ago. What? No, no, that can't be right. The paperwork cited a declining work performance and multiple incidents involving shady characters. But that doesn't... How could he keep this from me? What was he doing for work all this time? Well, I'm afraid we haven't figured that part out yet. We do have evidence linking him to several high-value accounts, and eyewitness statements claim that he was moving a lot of money around. Witness statements? Yes, apparently he is quite friendly with a teller by the name of Lou Kim. I'm not familiar with her. She said he had recently started working for a new client and, and that their accounts were all valued at well over seven figures. Unfortunately, that money vanished not long after your friend's death. From what we can tell, it was moved electronically into offshore accounts, but so far, we've been unable to trace it. At this time, we don't have a clue where it came from or who else might have been involved. Oh. <laughs> It's my opinion that your friend got mixed up with some sort of criminal element and was most likely helping them to launder the money. This can't be happening. It would also explain the threats you've been receiving. You said they're demanding money? It, yes. I pulled your phone records from the past couple days and it seems like the calls are coming from an overseas number. How is this possible? I don't know, ma'am. There really is not much we could do to help you at this point. But, but what am I supposed to do? I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. Eighteen months? That doesn't make any sense. My dad would never work for a bunch of criminals, would he? Was he just lying to us this whole time? 
It's just so hard to believe. He... Excuse me. Mm, huh. Holy crap, lady. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm looking for my partner, Harold. Uh, yeah, he's in here. Thanks. Hmm. I'm sure there's something we're overlooking. I just need a little more time. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Yumi? We just got a call on a possible 1062. The bedtime bandit again? Most likely. Uh, I'll be right there. The fun never stops. I'm afraid we're going to have to cut this short. Hey there, kiddo. Hello. If you think of anything else that might help us in our investigation, or the threats escalate to something worse, don't hesitate to call me. Yeah, okay. I'll have my partner Yumi drop in on you from time to time, just to check that your family is safe. Thanks. We're gonna sort this whole thing out, ma'am. You have my word. Son, you take good care of your landlady now, all right? Uh, yes, sir. I'll be in touch. Debbie? How much of that did you overhear? I... I don't know. Enough to be worried. What are we gonna do? Sweetie, this isn't something you need to concern yourself with. That's my job. Yeah, but... I'll handle it. Debbie, you don't have to do this alone. I want you to focus on school. That's the most important thing for you right now. It's what your father would want. Dad doesn't want anything anymore. Thomas, don't say things like that. Sorry, Debbie. Everything's going to be all right. I promise. Now go get ready for school. Yeah, okay. All right, basically at this point, I don't actually have to go to school. I just have to let a couple more days pass. So if you guys, uh, you know, you just want to get through the game, then don't worry about school. I'm going to go back up to my room and let a couple more days pass. There we go. Mmm, something smells good. Debbie must be making breakfast downstairs. I should go say good morning to her. All right, going downstairs. Hey, good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Debbie. Ready for school? Yeah, I guess. I have so much homework to catch up on. Oh, I'm sure you'll do fine. It's good to get back into the normal routine. I guess. What are you doing today? Oh, me. Housework mostly. It keeps me pretty busy. It's not easy taking care of this big place by myself, you know. I could help you, you know. You want to help with the housework? Sure, I mean, I feel like I should pull my weight around here. That's a great attitude to have, Thomas. Hmm. Well, the lawn hasn't been mowed in weeks. You can start there if you want. The lawnmower should be in the garage. All right, I'll go take a look. Thanks, Thomas. Be careful. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll be careful. All right. We're going to go outside. Oh, that smells coming from the kitchen. I could almost taste it. I guess first, maybe let's go check out what's in the kitchen. Good morning, sweetie. Morning, Deb. <laughs> Jenny. Meh. What smells good? Oh, I'm making a sausage and egg casserole. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, there's plenty for everyone. Why don't you take a seat at the table and I'll bring you some. Sweet. Ugh, no thanks. You don't want any? I just told you I'm doing a juice cleanse. Juice cleanse? What the heck is that? It means I'm only drinking juice for the next three days, dummy. Ah, uh, okay. Why? I need to get rid of these love handles before beach season. What love handles? You look fine. Don't be gross. I don't think people do juice cleanses to lose weight, dear. Um, yes, they do. I was reading about it online. Well, I think it sounds stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. Enough. I'm tired of you two fighting all the time. He started it. I did not. I said enough. Oh, that's probably the police lady coming to check on us. Police lady? Thomas, would you go and let her in, please? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Thanks, sweetie. 
Why are the police stopping by to check on us? <sighs> a juice cleanse with apple juice? What a moron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, I should probably answer the door. That means I gotta go back outside. Uh-oh. When I opened the door, I was greeted not by the police lady, but instead a stern and ugly-looking thug, all dressed in black. His tattoos and demeanor just screamed bad news. And his greasy smile sent chills up my spine. C can I help you? Nice place. Um, thanks? Hmm, I'm thinking you're Frank's son, yes? You knew my dad? <laughs> yes, you could say this. What is nice lady who takes care of you? Uh, she's... H who are you? Who am I? I am man at door. I am man asking to see nice lady responsible for you. Lady who owes us big money. Big money? Look, man, we don't know anything about any of this. I really think you've made a mistake or something. Ah, talking, talking. Your father liked talking too, you know? He talked all the way to the end. You make a mistake. I don't take money. Yip, yip, yip. Like frightened little bunny. Boss wants no more talking. He wants money back. You tell nice lady to be smart and pay up. I... I think you should leave now. <laughs> so this little bunny does have spine. I guess Apple can fall far from the tree. It was at that moment Harold's partner Yumi pulled up in her squad car. Tiss, tiss. Police involvement not so good for you. Not so good idea for nice lady either. You give her a message. You tell her I come back here and things will get ugly. Da? Huh? Excuse me. Who are you? Me? I'm just old friend of family. Come to pay your respects. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Bah, I have no time for questions. Much to know. I go now. Now you hold on just one second. Oh, are you planning to arrest me, officer? N no, but... Hmm, I did not think so. See you soon, little bunny. Lock the door, kid. Who was that? Bad news as who that was. Um, pretty sure it's a guy who's been threatening you on the phone. I need to call this in. Oh my goodness, are you alright? He didn't try to hurt you, did he? Uh, no, I'm fine. W what did he say? He wanted money and he mentioned dad. Oh, sweetie. Debbie, I think he had something to do with dad's death. Shh, it's okay. He's gone now. Everything's going to be all right. Come on, let's go sit down in the living room and see what the police officer can tell us. Uh, yeah, okay. That's correct, sir. He can't have gone far. What? No, I, I don't understand, sir. We can't just... Y yes. Yes, sir. I'm very well. What's happening? Yeah, shouldn't you be calling for backup or something? We put out an APB to our patrolman. They're looking for the car now. I need to get a statement from you. A statement? You mean you're not going after the guy? No, I've been expressly ordered not to pursue him. But he was making threats. I know. And I'm sorry. Look, it's very important that you tell me exactly what he said to you. Uh, I'm not sure. Everything happened so fast. That's understandable. This is a very stressful situation. Let's just take a moment to breathe and calm down, all right? Yeah, okay. Very good. Now I need you to focus, Thomas. Mm-hmm. 
What did he say to you when you opened the door? He said, nice place. Okay, good. Then what did he say? Then he said, I look like my father. And then he asked for Debbie. Good. What next? He said his boss was done talking. And, and that they wanted their money back. How can we get back something we never took? You said he mentioned his boss? Yes. Did he say his name? N no. All right. Anything else? Yeah, he said if we didn't pay up, he'd be back. And that next time, things would get ugly. Is that all he said? I think so. Thank you for your cooperation. Are you going to tell us who the man was? Truthfully, ma'am, we don't know who he is. All I can tell you is that he's a part of a criminal organization that's recently set up shop here in Somerville. Criminal organization? We're still trying to get a grip on the situation, but for now, my best advice to you both is to remain calm and stay vigilant. If they call, just hang up. If anyone suspicious comes knocking on your door, do not answer and phone the police immediately. That's your advice? Lay low and don't give them any incentive. I'm going to personally be monitoring your neighborhood while my partner Harold gets to the bottom of this, okay? Hmm. I don't like this. Everything's gonna be fine. We'll keep you safe, I assure you. Ma'am, can you help me set up a schedule? Hmm? Just an overview of everyone's weekly routine. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I don't like this one bit. I need some air. Well, Jenny and I have a hair appointment on Tuesday. Down at Cindy Cam's. Is that going to be a problem? No, that'll be fine. Does your daughter go out much at night? Like dancing with friends or anything? Oh, goodness, no. She spends most of her time on the phone or upstairs on that computer of hers. Okay. I guess I'm heading to school. Hmm? Oh, no, you're not. You're not leaving this house with that maniac running around. Debbie, I'm already months behind in my classes. You really want me to miss more? He's right, ma'am. You cannot let these crazies prevent you and your family from living your lives. Y yeah, but... I assure you, we have a lot of patrols out coming to city for this guy. He'll be perfectly safe. All right, just... Be careful, okay? I will be. This whole thing is making me a nervous wreck. Everything's gonna be fine, ma'am. Now then, where were we? I don't like this one bit. All right, he says the same thing. I'm supposed to go get some air. So basically, I need to go to the hallway next. So he, even though he says he needs to get some air, we're not going outside. We go to the hallway. What's going on down there? Hmm? Oh, some guy was at our door demanding money. Huh? What guy? I don't know. Some creepy guy with a bunch of tattoos and a crazy accent. Is he still down there? No, the cop showed up and he left. Debbie's down there talking to the police officer right now. You think that's the same guy who's been calling her on her phone? Yeah, probably. Oh, great. First your dad dies, sticking us with you. And now we're all going to be murdered. Nobody's going to be murdered. Quit being a bitch. Whatever. I'm going to my room. I don't like this one bit. I need some air. That's the third time he said that. Okay. So basically, I don't need any air. They just keep saying that. Um, after this, uh, the, ba the, the what you want to do is, uh, I guess you can explore around, but basically, I just got to wait for another five days to pass. All right. Uh, five days have passed, maybe six. I may have gone too far. Hmm. Looks like somebody left the bathroom door open a crack. I wonder who's in there. Yeah, we're not going to check on it. One peak wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, we don't need to check on it. That's not the point. Let's go down. Let's go outside. And this is what we were expecting. This is what we were expecting. Hmm, why is that car driving so slow? Wait a second. That's a creepy guy with a strange accent that was making the threats. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I need to tell Debbie about this. Right now. Okay, luckily he didn't do anything. Debbie? Oh, uh, where are you? Sweetie? What's the matter? 
I just saw that guy again. Did she just drop her coffee cup? Y you did? Where? He and another guy just drove by in a black car. And their her coffee cup's back. <laughs> did they say anything to you? No, they just kept on driving. He was staring right at me, though. I think we'd better stay inside the house for a while. I'll go phone the police. I yeah, okay. All right. Oh, I'm getting really sick of these assholes. Yes, just now. No, they didn't stop. Uh, all right. Thank you. What did they say? Yumi's on her way over. Have they made any progress? She didn't say. Of course she didn't. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think the cops in this town are pretty useless. Don't say that, sweetie. They're doing their best. Yeah, a lot of good that's doing us. And now what's happening? Those creepy guys come again? Yes. I'm sure it's nothing, dear. The police are on their way. Everything's going to be fine. We just need to stay inside for a while. Are they going to actually do something this time? Don't you start to? Why don't you take Thomas upstairs and play a board game or something? <laughs> oh, you must be joking. No, I think it'd be good for you to spend some time together bonding. First of all, we're not little kids. We don't play board games. You don't want to play a board game? <laughs> I'd play a board game. Secondly, I'd rather cut my labia in honey and sit on an anthill. Jenny. That was oddly specific. <laughs> and disgusting. Maybe, but true. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to watch a movie. Don't bother me. Well, you can wait here with me if you'd like. I'll cook you something. Nah, it's okay, Debbie. I'll just head over to my room and catch up on some homework or something. Oh, that's a good idea. You're such a good boy. Yeah, thanks, Debbie. I'll whip you up something to snack on. Sounds great. I had a literal mountain of homework piled up from the time I missed at school. But, try as I might, I just couldn't get anything accomplished. I was too worried to focus. How had my dad managed to get us into this mess? What in the world could I do to get us out of it? Sweetie, it's awfully quiet in here. Are the police still downstairs? No, Yumi just left. They got patrols out looking for that car again. Yeah, great. Are you doing okay? Eh, I'm fine. You sure? I hope you know that you can talk to me, if you need to. Yeah, I know. I just... I'm worried something bad might happen and... I want to be able to protect you and Jenny, you know? Oh, sweetie. It's not your responsibility to protect us. You've got enough worries, just being the age you are. Getting through school. Finding a nice girlfriend. You should focus on things like that, you know? I'm not sure I can do that, Debbie. Sure, you can. All of this other stuff, it's for me to solve, not you. It's my responsibility. You hear me? Yeah. But I don't think... No buts. I'm gonna take care of it, okay? Everything is gonna be fine. Why don't you get out of the house for a while and do something fun? Go see what new games Eric is playing. Maybe spend some time with that cute girl next door. Debbie. <laughs> you could always go help Diane with her garden. Yeah, alright. That's my boy. Get your mind off of all of this nonsense. I'll handle everything. Yeah, right. She is stressed out. She has no clue what to do. And Debbie's right. It doesn't do any good to sit around worrying about this stuff. Best I get my mind off of it. I've got the whole town full of adventures in front of me. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do, as always. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And that is it. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.